Hi guys, Coach Zach here. Today I just want to go over a couple things about movement hierarchy. So I just finished the Westminster Movement Analysis, had a good turnout, quite a few parents and kids that came out, and I just want to go over a couple principles that we kind of go by, and hopefully to try to understand, help you guys understand movement, and why there should be a need and a necessity to focus on some of these basic principles um, that's not taught in school, right, that I had to find out much later in life that I really wish that I knew when I was younger and was able to use this information to my advantage because once you know this stuff, it helps you understand the movement and what you can do to be a better athlete, all right? So the movement hierarchy, um, it starts with this. It actually starts with position, number one. So if you're building a pyramid, you're building a foundation, right? Or building, you know, this whole uh, athletic experience, right? We're putting this all these pieces together, you really should understand position. And I'm gonna go over some videos that you can use to help with these principles. But number one, we have the athletic position, right? We have running at the, from starting from the bottom, starting from the top, and then a cutting position. Uh, I think that, you know, what I saw today, it's like kids are just kind of all over the place a little bit, and it's really hard to sync this stuff, but if you can master, you know, first just getting into the positions, and then creating what the next tier would be, is that stability, the mobility, and coordination to execute that, that's going to help you when it's game time, and you're going in, and you're going to have to use that information. This is practical stuff, this isn't just theory, you know, when you're out playing sports, you're running, you're cutting, you're jogging, you're jumping, you're stopping, you're decelerating, you're getting into these positions. So it's really important to you know master the positions and start to create movement in those positions. And as a coach, this is something that you can do, right, when you can start adding this into your practices, right? How can you add this into your warm-up? How can you add this in between your drills, right? And I think these are things that you can look forward to um, and use them as a tool in your toolbox. So we have position, then we have mobility, right? This is, mobility is just range of motion. We need to have full range of motion. Most of your kids have really good range of motion. There's probably few, if you're not moving a lot, right, then you're probably not gonna have good range of motion. But majority of these kids, you know, anywhere from the younger age, getting into the teenage years and high school, you really need the stability, especially for the females. Females, you got it, especially for tall and more like uh, lanky, uh, you want to create strength, right? Because we know that injuries occur kind of that in range, working out heavy loads, you know, at in range, right? And it's the repetitiveness. So stability really just means can I use my muscles, right, that control that movement in a way that's desirable, in a way that we know from movement, I would say specialists, you know, that uh, it reduces the chance of injury and at the same time it's most optimal, so the most optimal position will help you actually produce the best force, help you move better and also perform better. So we have the stability factor and then coordination. Coordination, you know, it's your nervous system, right, connecting to your muscles, right? And it's not just, hey, I need to fire this, but I also need to turn off this. It's can I get the right muscles to fire in the right time in the right sequence, right? And that takes time. That takes, you know, developing, right? Your, your body just doesn't have, it doesn't give it to you, you know? You're born a baby, you're born of all this range of motion all over the place, right? And then you had to get up and walk and move and crawl and do all the roll and do all these things which added stability. You kept doing that, right? And you kept, as kids, what do they do? Play, 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 play. Allow them to play, let them play, right? Because now you're adding, next thing, coordination, right? And sports does great at helping with that coordination, but you as a coach, right, can, or as a parent, right, have the ability to kind of put these kids in those situations, and I'll show you some of the videos, which is gonna help with that, right? The more you do it, the better you'll get at it, 
right? Our body really responds well to new stimulus, right? What's, what's this new position, right? Um, that's why multiple sports really help the athletic body, right? Because they're able to adapt. They're feeling and, and being exposed to different positions, right? And then they have to create different skill sets and different moves. And when you do that, you know, your body is able to be adaptable. And when you're more adaptable, you can be more durable, right? And durability is a big thing to help reduce injuries. All right, and that's through optimization and having the right strength, and which leads us into the next tier, right, is this linear, right, um, um, formula, right? We should have endurance. We should be running around doing things. We should have an aerobic capacity, right, to be able to last. And then after you're able to do enough of it, whether it's reps, you know, um, um, or just running for a certain period of time, right, and then you start to build some strength, and strength goes in all sorts of different tiers you know you have strength endurance you have um, hypertrophy so growing muscle you have maximum strength so low reps but using force production with your nervous system which goes into the next tier so it keeps building 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 it's like another one of these pyramids within itself right it would be power power is how fast you can move it's really strength times speed put together right and what is that and that's sprinting what's sprinting apply a metric Right, a single leg plyometric, low grade plyometric, but regardless, it's a plyometric, right? But we don't really think about those things. All right, and then you'll see after these things are developed, you know, this is where your best optimal skill set is. This is where you're able to, you know, take information, absorb it, and you're able to make things, acquisitions a lot faster, right? Uh, but we've all seen the people that are super strong, right? not have very good skill sets, right? But we've all seen, well I've seen, the people that have great skill sets fail to meet the mobility or stability requirements and they're limiting themselves. So putting a capsule, right, on their potential as a skill set um, and as an their athletic potential. So just understand this is the movement hierarchy. A uh, really big thing I want you to take away from this, you know, there are these stages of development. Uh, I think as soccer coaches, we kind of figure, like really focus on the skill set. We have 60 minutes, we'll do a little warm up, skill, skill, skill. You know, you might have to do some little endurance running around and stuff. But I really want to change your perspective is saying, hey, we should really start plugging in these positions. We should really start focusing maybe on stability and coordination. Um, for some people, maybe mobility is a factor, but for most people, it's these things, the stability, the controlling the motions, right? The synchronizing one position to the next position, that is coordination, right? And then maybe getting in some of the strength, and we know there's evidence, I'll, I'll link it up with you, um, going into plyometrics as being a great tool, right, for helping kids reduce injuries, right? And then really focusing on the skill set. I still think the skill set's the big thing. That's what the kids want to do. They want to play, you know, but I do think from a movement standpoint, you know, if we check the box of this stuff, we're setting our kids up for success um, and, you know, allowing them to reach whatever potential that they desire to reach. Thank you. Stay tuned.